Thank you. Thank you, Juan, for inviting us. Um, hello, everybody. My name is Angel Madero. I'm, I'm with the District 5 Council Office. I'm a council, uh, community relations representative. I just want to thank you all for making it out here tonight, taking the time to convene your concerns so we can all talk and work towards solutions. So as more of the council office staff uh, continues to become vaccinated, so we're out in the community volunteering at various clinics and even facilitating our own. Uh, together, just yesterday, we were able to support the Luna Labor's local vaccination clinic. We're out at the Blanca Alvarado Clinic, often over there off of Capitol, where the old hometown buffet would, was. Um, and even coordinate our own clinic at the Foxdale Apartments, um, which we're following up with in May uh, with uh, help from Safeway. So we're really grateful to all the partners we have there. And this conversation about vaccinations feeds nicely into tonight's conversation, because as we continue to get vaccinated, more city and council staff are able to move past the challenges that the pandemic has placed, meaning higher response rates from Caltrans and greater coordination among code enforcement and homeless concerns. Um, some of you may have noticed like cleanups to the King Road freeway entrances that we had gotten a lot of constituent concerns about and calls, and it looks a lot nicer now. Um, and projected Caltrans uh, brush clearing and tree trimming to the 680 Jackson exit. And then alongside that, our, our own commitments and my own commitment really to the district is our with embedded in our dumpster days that we host uh, we host at least two to three monthly in different neighborhoods of the district uh, to just ensure that those that that blight doesn't end up on our streets and like olympia was mentioning that we facilitate those pathways so that neighbors constituents everyone is able and available to take advantage of these free services to get rid of their things so um we invite you all to reach out to us if you'd like one in your neighborhood. We do have a whole tentative schedule uh, up until July for right now, but every neighborhood we're spreading the wealth. Everyone's getting, everyone's getting one. We usually do four to five dumpsters in there. Um, and then recently we also hosted a litter pickup on April 17th, where we ended up in commemoration of Earth Day, where we ended up picking up two tons of uh, litter so we're really grateful to the leadership of the Mount Pleasant Neighborhood Association, the Alum Rock uh, Village Action Committee, Project Hope, and the Capitol Park Neighborhood Association, among other community members who joined us. Um, just super great. Um, but having said that and listening to this conversation, um, we're well aware that there's a lot of work to be done. And ultimately, the challenges that are faced by our communities are complex and persistent, but I think they're solvable giving a willingness to work towards interagency solutions that include our agencies, our city, our local government, council staff, and you all. Uh, 